If you don't already have The Sims 2 Body Shop as an icon on your desktop, you would find it this way. You go into this PC or my computer, and then the local disk, which is usually a C drive, program files, EA games, and then the most recent Sims 2 expansion pack that you have. Mine is mansion and garden stuff because I have all of them. And then you go into the CS bin folder and then it'll be there. You just copy it and then paste it onto your desktop and then you'll have the icon like I do. And I would just double click it to open it. Um, it does take a long time to load so I'm going to skip ahead. Once it opens you'll get this screen and the first thing I would do is go to create parts, start new project, and then create clothing is, this is the simplest thing you could do. I'll just go into every day and I'll find an outfit. Um, if you do the full outfit option, you can do what I'm about to show you. Um, this could be good for like pajamas. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to make an everyday outfit or an outfit from one category be able to be in other categories. Okay, so I decided I'm going to use this outfit as an example. I feel like it could be good for like formal wear, I guess. Um, I don't think it's already in the game as that. So I'm going to export selected textures and then I'm going to name it formal pink outfit but you can't put any spaces in the name that you're going to export so it's just like one long line and then check mark and this is the screen where you're going to change it to whatever outfit you want it to be you can make it all of them if you wanted um, but for this I'm just going to make it I think formal and outerwear might not be a bad idea either um, and then you can enter a tooltip and the tooltip is what um, the name that pops up when you hover over custom content, if you've ever seen that before. But we can take it off every day because it's already in every day. And then we're going to import into the game. And then check. And then if you go into Build Sims, Boulder Clone, and then I'll just do the plus sign, really. Um, it would probably help if I was in female so that I could see the outfit. So in formal, it's right there. You can see the tooltip when you hover over it. Same exact thing for outerwear. And that's about the easiest thing you can do in The Sims 2 Body Shop. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and click the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.